We are over halfway past 2022. Global economies are in the second half of the year with extremely worrying signs. Economic growth is at a snail's pace. Food prices are rising. Oil and gas prices are soaring. Major countries are struggling with record high inflation rates and the world may soon be in a recession. Hakuna Matata, cry no more. Don't worry, be happy. We've all heard these phrases and use them in our day-to-day -day lives. But at this time of the year, it's only the oil companies that can stick to these phrases. Major oil giants are witnessing record-breaking second quarter profits. Shell, Europe's largest oil company, has reported record profits of $11.5 billion, doubling its earnings in a single year. And this is up from $5.5 billion in April to June 2021, marking a $6 billion rise in profits and up from $9.1 billion in the first quarter of 2022. Earlier this year, the oil giant recorded a 14-fold increase in quarterly profits. France's Total Energies has said that its second quarter profits had almost tripled to $9.8 billion compared with a year earlier. American giant Chevron Corp posted its biggest quarterly earnings ever the oil major posted a net profit of $11.6 billion in the second quarter. That's up from $6.5 billion from the first. ExxonMobil Corp, another American oil giant, has also posted its biggest quarterly profit ever. Its second quarter adjusted income stands at $17.85 billion. This is almost a four-fold increase over $4.69 billion that it earned in the same period last year. The quarter one profits for Exxon, uh, for Exxon stood at $8.8 .8 billion. Second quarter earnings for major oil and gas companies have been astronomical to say the least. The profits are clearly jaw-dropping. The industry is expected to lock a record $50 billion profit overall. Exxon Mobil Corp, Chevron Corp, Shell, Total Energies and BP, collectively known as the super majors, are set to make more money than they did in 2008 when international oil prices jumped as high as $147 a barrel. So what is going on? What's driving these stunning profits for these oil giants? Well, it's the Russia war with Ukraine. As Western countries are feeling the brunt of reduced supplies of oil from Russia and are now trying to minimize their dependence on Russian energy, the supply reductions have wreaked havoc in markets. It said the oil and gas prices soaring. These price increases are driving global inflation to record levels in the US and Europe while boosting profits for the energy companies. They are piling pressure on the consumers, thereby raising the risk of recession. Now, in the United Kingdom, households are set to see record energy costs this winter. As Russia clamps down on Europe's gas supplies, experts say average bills for January alone are likely to be above $600, which is more than three times last year's level. And this has triggered attacks against oil majors from world leaders and brought widening calls for a windfall tax on the profits which companies face in the UK and elsewhere. Last month, US President Joe Biden said Exxon was uh, making more money than God. Experts say the outlook for the oil majors has darkened in recent weeks. This is because central banks across the world are rapidly raising the interest rates to combat inflation, mostly because of the effects of the skyrocketing energy prices, which is raising fears of a global economic slowdown. And such broadening fears have triggered a big sell-off in the oil and gas shares with the expectations of bumper profits. As the world grapples with rising energy and food crises and economic uncertainty, the only ones laughing all the way to the bank are the oil giants.
And with me on the broadcast for more on this is Simon Lee, Senior Lecturer and Co-Director of International Business and Chinese Enterprise Program at the CUHK Business School in Hong Kong. Uh, thanks very much for being here with us. Now, gasoline prices in Hong Kong, the highest in the world. Uh, the rising prices around the world have been a matter of concern, in fact. What would you say lies ahead? Now, the rising oil price partially contributed by the um, uh, uh, resumptions to normal activities of the global economy uh, after COVID. And uh, the other reason is because of the Russia Ukraine war, which interrupted the normal supplies of oil. And in the case of Hong Kong, uh, the answer is not that simple because uh, of the high land costs in Hong Kong. So they get quick petrol filling station, all require very high land spread. And the other reason is the government, Navy, around 80 US cents per liter uh, as a kind of tax for the gasoline. So we see this, uh, well, in the, in the past, uh, Hong Kong has always ranked the highest gasoline price in the world. Right. Uh, tell us more about how the tax system changes can help in making things better. Now, we see that uh, those uh, big oil companies, they earn huge amounts of profit, um, uh, partially because of the economies of scales and because uh, they uh, have been running the business for so long. Uh, now, at least in China, we see that uh, those oil companies, they earn very excessive profit. So uh, the government charged uh, windfall tax, that means a kind of excessive tax uh, for any corporation, especially the oil company. Now we can see the same in some European countries and the USA government is also uh, putting forward some initiative to charge some excessive tax for the oil company. The tax can be used to reallocate resources uh, for the green measures to uh, save the environment. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.